Hey guys, this is Pat from Rain Country Homestead. God is good all the time. And I was asked from Heidi over at Rain Country <laughs> and Mary from Mary's Nest. Actually, I was kind of told from Heidi from Rain Country. And this video is supposed to be on the three best secondhand finds. And I'm going to start with the worst to the best deal. So three being the worst and one being the best deal I got. Well that's actually kind of a tough thing because a lot of the things that I have around here are secondhand finds. And I wait for a while and when a good deal comes across my path and I think I could use it, I might go ahead and pick it up. Well, right behind me I guess you can figure out my number three, believe it or not, is my Case 580 Backhoe. And I got it for $12,500. And um, it's an extend a -ho, a 580 Super E. Uh, so it has a ropes cab and a front loader bucket and a backhoe. The backhoe you can actually take off and put other implements on there if you like. And it's a four wheel drive. I really like the cab, it keeps you warm in the winter time. <laughs> keeps you warm and dry. Anyway, uh, that's find number three, and I got that fairly locally, and it was, it's a 1987, and I got it, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember, I think it might have been 12 years ago, 15 years ago, somewhere around there, but I've had it for a long time, and the only things I really had to do to it so far is I rebuilt the hydraulic pump in it, and... I had to rebuild the entry and exit door on the cab. Uh, when I bought it, it didn't have a door on it. And it also didn't have this engine cover that you see over here to my, to my left over here. And I had a guy I build a new access door, access panel for the engine, and then I welded these little uh, uh, brackets on here and then put some, some rubber snubbers on there for to keep the door in place and painted it but that's not actually <laughs> it's not actually faded backhoe case backhoe color but um, anyway it uh, worked out pretty good eventually I'd like to refinish the whole machine so anyway the door on the other side wasn't on the machine so I did a little bit of research located the door and what had happened is the uh, contracting company that had it before one of the operators were was running around with the door open and actually ran into something and it ripped the door off of there so it's been all the pieces and I thought well I'll just go ahead and buy another door well the door was like 1400 bucks <laughs> so I said that ain't gonna happen so I carefully took and rebuilt the door and it works great now I had to do some welding on it and whatnot uh, and so now it, and I painted it up and put it back on there and it's it's been on there ever since those are the two major things other than hoses breaking and that happens with everybody no matter if your machines new or old and so just you know simple things that have happened I uh, had a fuel injector that was leaking by and I carefully took it apart and cleaned the connection where the injector was um, I think I have a video on that so this is item number three. Let's go to item number two. Okay, here we are at my uh, my Powermatic 36 inch uh, center to center wood lathe. And got an interesting story on this. This was part of a school surplus auction. And I had to have Mrs. Rain help to remind me <laughs> what kind of deal this was. And and talking with her and sitting and thinking about it uh, this was years ago um, that I come across this deal here uh, so there's a silent auction that you you went up to the uh, administrative office and you put in what your maximum dollar amount for a particular item would be and then you just waited for them to give you a phone call you left your phone number and all that good fun stuff there in your name and uh, this this came up for auction as it's a it's a Powermatic Model 90, 
uh, old timer wood lathe here and they called me up I made a bid for hundred and thirty six dollars and fifty cents <laughs> so I figured if anybody offered hundred and thirty five <laughs> I'd outbid them by $1.50 and actually it worked. A guy did offer $135. <laughs> this Powermatic wood lathe I got, I got it and they said, well that over there is yours and that over there is yours too. But anyways, what I had to do with this machine, it runs great. I had to put this bushing underneath here. If you can see this uh, flat bushing, what that is, it's an old truck flap. You know, I find something I think might be useful and I'll pack it home like a pack rat and uh, so this is just a truck mat which you know lifted the head up off of the table because the motors underneath this and so there's a belt that runs up in here and it's a variable speed uh, up to 4,000 rpm and what happened is the, the bushings underneath here got rotten and so I just replaced those bushings all the way down through here uh, with that truck mat and it was the perfect perfect thickness and so I uh, this thing runs just like new now so it's it's a beautiful machine this is where I turn a lot of the bowls and different things that we have on our Etsy store on this thing so um, built a lot of stuff for Mama Rain and um, as long as I'm building stuff for Mama Rain Mama Rain's happy with <laughs> Mr. Rain the other wood lathe that I got was another real nice machine and actually that machine that uh, you see in the in the picture is a is a Delta Rockwell and so I went ahead and took that home and refinished it uh, put some hammerite paint on there to give it a hammered look and I painted it in gray and so a nice classic old uh, wood lathe as a matter of fact I when I was in high school, that's the lathe, that's the type of lathe that I actually learned how to turn on. And so, pretty cool old lathe. And so I got, I got some tooling and, and, you know, a couple more rests that went with, with this equipment. And uh, this one here, I actually put a live end on it. Uh, they both had uh, dead uh, tailstock centers on them. And I put live centers on each one of these lathes. It wasn't that expensive. So anyway, I got that. I got a little seven inch wide Williams and Hussey planer, uh, 110 planer. And that was actually brand new and never been used. And you're gonna say, well, Mr. Ray, how do you know it's never been used? Well, I brought it home and I was gonna plug it in. I couldn't find any cord to it. <laughs> I thought, what the world, you know? So I got to looking and got myself a got myself some cord and got a I got a plug in for it and I found a, it's a regular switch and um, wired it up I went to wire up the motor whenever you hook up an electrical motor it'll have a little square box on there where you actually put the cord through and you tie into the motor and some motors you can reverse rotation on them or hook them 110, 220. This particular motor, I know it was brand new and never been hooked up because when I took that cover plate off of the, the electrical hookup, there's a little piece of paper in there that had paint on it. So what happened when they were putting the motor through the painting process, what they do is they'll put a little piece of paper inside the hole where you run the cord into so when they go through and paint paint the motor on the assembly line it doesn't get paint inside that hole and paint all the innards in there because there's actually a diagram in there how to wire the motor up for 220 110 or reverse phase or you know, not reverse phase but uh, reverse rotation I removed a little piece of paper that had the paint on there because the paint was just right around where the where the electrical cord comes in removed that hooked it up the blades were were perfectly sharp and never been used and so I got those three items for and I consider this number two because 
<laughs> I got them all in one deal and I didn't I, I was only bidding on this thing and I actually got those other two and hadn't realized that they were actually um, I guess I guess in a in a bundle. All three of these items are are a real addition to the shop for hundred thirty six dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> now off to my best deal that I've ever got, my best second hand find. So here's the moment y'all been waiting for, and this is my number one best deal I've ever got. Hey, Mrs. Rain, can you come here? So the best deal I ever got was Mrs. Rain. <laughs> Me! I paid a whole $60 for her. $50 for the pastor and $10 for the marriage certificate. And I guess over the years, she's actually cost me quite a bit of money. Uh-huh. <laughs> lots of time, time. Lots of money. Lots Remember, of anguish. Remember, I break a lot of things. <laughs> And he fixes them. <laughs> yeah, so we made a pretty good pair on that end. But over the years, she's actually learned lots of skills and different things like that and has saved us lots of money, too. I have. So this is my number one secondhand find. I guess we've both been dating over the years and met together. And, well, we've been married for 30 years. Getting there. <laughs> Real close to 30 years anyway. So, I think uh, it's going to be 29. I have a lot more finds than that. I got all kinds of different tools that I have come across over the years, and I kind of had to scratch my head a little bit and think serious about this. Well, I hope you liked the video, and thank you, Mrs. Rain, for inviting me or forcing <laughs> me or forcing me to do this secondhand finds video. And thank At the you blunt for, end of a skillet. Yeah. <laughs> And th thank you for Mary's, from Mary's Nest, for participating in our collaboration. Thanks, Mary. And any of y'all that want to join up in the collaboration, just give us a shout out and we'll put you on the list yeah. and and uh, we'll go from there. But be some pretty interesting stuff that comes along. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. And God bless.